Baylor University calls me up and says, hey, would you be willing to come and speak to our incoming freshman class at Baylor University? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll fly out there. And on the whole flight out there, I'm listening to my iPod. And I'm listening to a comedian by the name of Brian Regan. I love this dude. Part of the reason I love him, he's funny, he's hilarious, but I also love him because he's clean, he's not raunchy, doesn't use bad language or anything like that. So I really appreciate it. So I'm listening to Brian Regan. I land in Waco and I get a rental car, drive to the hotel, check into the hotel. And then the next day, I'm standing in front of the entire freshman class of Baylor University. Thousands and thousands of students that are incoming freshmen. Somebody introduces me, they hand me the microphone, I do a presentation for 45 minutes or so. And once that's done, I'm ready to pack up my stuff. But as I'm getting ready to leave, there's a young freshman girl that comes to the front of the stage and she's like, yo, speaker guy, I got a question. So I come up to the front. She says, have you ever heard of a guy named Brian Regan? And I was like, yeah, she doesn't know that I just listened to him on the flight over. I didn't say that in the presentation, but I'm like, yeah, I love Brian Regan. Why do you ask? She says, because you sound just like him. It occurred to me, me listening to Brian Regan on the flight out there, made me speak like him during the presentation. My tone, my inflection, my sense of humor. And afterwards, as I was processing that comment from that freshman girl, I was like, you know, I've got to be very careful with the voices that I allow into my ear because they have an influence on how I communicate and how I present myself to other people. I have influence. You have influence. Shoot, Brian Regan on an iPod has influence. We all have influence. How are you using yours? Are you using your influence to lead people to God? Or are you using your influence to lead people away from God? What I don't want for you or for me is for any of us to become what I refer to as a sinfluencer.